you're sort of tempted after a certain period of underperformance to tinker with your systems and call up research. Then as soon as you implement the new research you find out, well the older systems would have performed better. I probably trade the original system philosophy as much as humanly possible. I would change in a heartbeat if I could improve, but I just haven't seen anything better than what we were taught. Bad ideas can work for a long period of time. Trend following is forever. I do not want to get distracted by short-term trading, carry trading, pattern recognition, or mean reversion. Will the big winners pay for the small losses? People have it backward. They see trend following as an add-on to some other strategy, when in fact, it's the core. Beating the market is hard. Even surviving the market is hard. Stamina may be the most underrated quality. It's really important to have a systematic approach to your trading and to stick to that system and follow it to a T. Trade small and follow your system. If you are losing money but still following your system's rules, that is still good trading. Following the rules is the most important characteristic of a good trader. You should focus on trading correctly and not worry about performance. You must take all signals generated by your system. You cannot afford to miss a good trade or a good trend. You can't be afraid to take the trade. Missing a trade is worse than taking a trade that you get stopped out of. A small percentage of your trades will make the majority of your profits. Trend following is boring but it works. What works in the market is not going to feel good. Trading is hard, it's difficult and is psychologically tough to do. Keep good records of all your trades. Having a track record is your greatest asset in trading. Money management is the most important trading rule. Diversification is important within a trend-following system. Jerry allocates 25% of his risk budget to each of the four asset classes, currencies, commodities, stocks, and interest rates. Preservation of capital is key. Take small trades, longer term. You must be able to sit through drawdowns. If you are in a prolonged drawdown, you should consider reducing position sizes to make it psychologically easier to continue taking all the signals generated by your system. You need to learn to embrace your drawdowns. Embrace a systematic approach as there is no way to predict where the markets are going. When backtesting a trading system, you need a large sample size of 5,000 trades. Once you have developed a trading strategy that has an edge, you need to stick with it. A good system should not have a lot of moving parts. It should have one entry, one exit, and a stop loss. Avoid tweaking your system too much. Your system needs to exceed a 40% win rate. Average wins versus average losses should also exceed 3 to 1. Let your profits run and take small losses. Avoid taking small profits. Don't look for approval of others. Trading is a lonely endeavor.